Hey guys, it's Goofy Goop the Balls, and today I want to talk to you guys about what makes a gameplay a good gameplay and what makes a gameplay a good YouTube gameplay. And I'm going to talk about the difference between them and the important aspects to remember when thinking about each of those. So, like I said, I'll talk about each of those, talk about the difference, and talk about my opinion. And I also want to hear your guys' opinion too as to A, what you think is a good gameplay, and B, what you think is a good gameplay for YouTube. What's going to be the most entertaining for you? So I'm just going to jump right into it, give you guys my school of thought as to what those two things are, or what I think they are, and what I think the difference between them is. And I'm also going to give you guys a couple other schools of thought that other people think and don't necessarily line up with mine. And hopefully you guys will leave a comment down below saying what your school of thought is, and if you guys don't have that already planned out in your head, maybe you'll be able to come up with something from hearing all these different opinions in this video. Alright, so what I think a good gameplay is, or just a good game in general, is any game where I'm playing and I'm having fun. I don't even have to be doing that well. I could go far negative for all I care. Like, if I'm running around just trying to hit people with a spike drone or something like that, and I'm having fun, then that's a good game to me. That's what I consider a good game. And obviously it helps. If you have, like, a really good game, a star game, you go 40 and 10, 40 and 5, you call in a DNA bomb, you loop your kill streaks around. And see, I mean, the whole point behind that, though, is that it's fun. So that's my major premise, just that it's fun. Not what I end up with a good score or whether or not I get a lot of kills or kill streaks. Just having fun is what makes a game good and a game fun for me. And it doesn't necessarily have to be noobs. I mean, you can definitely play a lot of competitive games, like in ranked play, and have fun just barely scratching by for wins. So as long as you're having fun, that's a good game to me. But there are other people out there who think that a good game is when you go out and beat the other team and hold a really good KD, get a lot of score streaks, DNA bombs, all that kind of stuff. And that's what some other people think. And hey, I can totally understand that and see where you're coming from. Because this game is about killing people and getting lots of kills and trying to get those kill streaks. And if that's what makes it fun for you, then I totally understand that. And back in the days of games like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, I would have completely agreed with that because in those games, I always went out there with the intention of just trying to destroy the other team. And every time I did, I felt like I was having the most fun in my entire life playing Call of Duty. And it wasn't so much about just enjoying it and having a good time because, you know, I wanted to go out there and wreck the other team and that's what made it fun for me. It's just now, over time, I've kind of changed my opinion. I feel that... I mean, yeah, it's a, it's, it is about having fun. It's Call of Duty. Everyone wants to destroy the other team. But at the same time, with the whole way they've been changing skill-based matchmaking, I just feel like it's more about having fun now because you can't rely on the game to give you a bad lobby every now and again where you can destroy the other team and really like feel like, yeah, I totally destroyed those kids. I feel like a champion right now. Like, I feel like that's just not how Call of Duty is anymore. I feel like they've gotten away from that, man, I want to destroy every lobby, to man, I want to perform well consistently and have good stats. And I mean, while that is kind of fun, I feel like it's not as fun as it used to be. I don't think you should play this game thinking about your stats and how you're going to do at the end of each game and trying to hold up your 1.5 KD or keep your score per minute up because I really don't think that makes the game fun. I think what makes the game fun is jumping into a lobby, destroying kids, or just having some fun with some friends. I mean, that's the biggest thing that any video game should be about. I mean, it's about you having fun and playing with people you care about and people you have fun playing with. And I mean, that's what a good game or good gameplay in general is really about for me. But now, to get into what a good YouTube gameplay is about, or what I, at least what I think it's about. Every time I hop onto YouTube, I don't go on like trying to find a 40 and 10, a 40 and 20 gameplay where the person might be having fun and enjoying themselves, and that's great. But you know, I'm, I'm on YouTube because I want to be entertained. I don't want to watch someone else while playing decent and having like an okay game when I could be watching someone going 100 0 or 200 0, getting double, triple DNA bombs, running these ridiculous kill streaks, and just absolutely destroying kids. I mean, to me, I, that's how I'm going to be entertained by watching an insane gameplay, not just a couple people messing around and having a little fun. While that can be fun sometimes, like a funny video or something, like, why would I watch a 40 and 20 gameplay when I could watch a 60 and 0 gameplay? You know what I'm saying? So that's why I think, like, a YouTube gameplay should be about absolutely demolishing the other team and going absolutely ham, calling in DNA bombs left and right, and all that kind of craziness. Because that's what I and many other viewers want to see, like, absolutely insane gameplays. But now, this has gotten a little complicated with skill-based matchmaking, and here's why. Obviously, people still want to see some insane gameplays, but at the same time, people don't want to see them gotten through reverse boosting. And while I do get that, I mean, if we're going to be honest, a lot of the gameplays in the past and present 
like those 100 no, 200 no, double, triple DNA bombs, Moabs even, nukes from back in the day, those are gotten against bad teams. And it's very rare that they're gotten against a bunch of very skilled players. And even if it is done like that, and that's what a lot of people say we want to see. Oh, we want to see insane gameplays against really good players. And so even if someone does produce a game like that and the viewers are happy, what's really going on here is the people in that game are just performing lower than their average stats. So let's say you're playing a team against a bunch of kids who have a 2KD, right? And you have an insane game and they all go negative. And you post that gameplay and everyone's like, wow, you got this awesome gameplay without reverse boosting. You must be really good and this gameplay is awesome. But all that's really happened here is A, yeah, you've had a really good game, but B, they haven't performed up to their standards and that's why you were able to get a good gameplay. I'm not trying to degrade anybody who did get a gameplay like this, but I'm just saying that in the end, to get a good gameplay, you're going to have to be playing noobs or people who are not on top of their game and not playing their best at that very moment. So like I said, I do kind of agree that it sucks to have gameplays against really bad players, but if we're going to be honest, that's been the truth for the past like 3, 4, 5 years even, for as long as the YouTube life to Call of Duty has existed. The only difference is that it hasn't been blatantly obvious to us. With skill-based matchmaking and reverse boosting, it's been clearly pointed out that people are going to try to get these bad lobbies by reverse boosting, so they're able to get these insane gameplays. And like I said, in the past, that's kind of what's happened. People have made second accounts, you know, not prestige on those accounts, so they have a better chance of getting into bad lobbies and thus getting better gameplays. It's just become more apparent now in Advanced Warfare because of skill-based matchmaking and because so many people are using reverse boosting and it's so widespread. So looking at it from this standpoint, all reverse boosting does is really gives you a much better chance to get bad lobbies, whereas in previous games you just had to keep playing games until you found a bad lobby and thus were able to get a good gameplay. But now that people know that most insane gameplays are done against bad lobbies and you intentionally get them in this game, it's kind of created a double standard where people want good gameplays but at the same time they don't want you to reverse boost. And it's just kind of a weird situation that skill based matchmaking has put us in. So in my opinion to sum up, I think a good gameplay for YouTube is any game where you go absolutely ham, even if it's against noobs, as long as they're not like bots, like as long as they're not that bad, like better than bots, then I still think it's a good gameplay and a good gameplay to post on YouTube. Because with skill based matchmaking, it's become very hard to get good gameplays because you always get lobbies that are players of your same skill, and it's just very rare to get one of those insane gameplays like you could in older games. And so, just quickly, the difference between the two being that a good game for you might be one where you're having fun, but a good game for YouTube is not necessarily that. I mean, having fun's great, but a good game for YouTube is one where you can really entertain others, not only yourself, with that certain gameplay. So yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up what I want to talk about in this video, the difference between what a good gameplay is in general versus what a good gameplay is for YouTube, and the sort of double standard that skill-based matchmaking has given to us. That I didn't talk about too much in this video, but I'll talk about that a little bit more in another video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, you maybe found an opinion or want to share your opinion, and I'd really appreciate it if you could do that, even if it's just, you know, a short quick sentence or two, it doesn't have to be anything specific, just leave your comments down below, because I'm really interested to hear what all you guys have to say. If you guys liked this video or it made you really think, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button for me, so that way I know that you guys want to see more videos like this so we can have more discussions down in the comments. And if you guys are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date every time I post a new video or gameplay for Advanced Warfare. This has been Goofy Goop the Balls, and I'll catch you all in the next video.